So you mentioned in that answer, data analytics. We had a customer about a year ago, uh, e-commerce customer. They had, they sh- in our client discovery, they showed us their analytics and all the things that they tracked, right? So if you went to their page, they sold thousands of things an hour. If you went to their page and you looked at something and you looked at similar things, but you didn't put it in the box, it popped up a 10% discount code for five. It was completely unfair for online shopping, right? Like we are at a disadvantage with all this technology. Mm-hmm. This dashboard must have cost tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. Most of our clients don't have some big data analytics thing like that e-commerce company. What are some real tangible things that everyday things that clients can do to really look at what is getting traction, what isn't getting traction, what they should double down on and what they should really leave out moving forward? Yeah, I I think, um, you know, obviously it's easier if you're doing paid advertising. There's a one-to-one ratio that happens there. You can see I spend X dollars and then you get return on your ad spend. Fantastic, right? But then there's other things that you can do that will help you with that. Um, You know, if you know how to do some, and there's super cheap stuff, right? So making sure you understand UTMs, go through that. So uh, this is a great way for you to be able to track what's, what's happening, but giving them a little, you know, like those breadcrumb trails, put it a link in your bio to something that they're going to want. And don't just do one thing, make it a 3D, right? People love threes. They do. It's just how we process things. It's how we remember them. But we're like, oh my gosh, this solves my entire problem. Of course I want that. And yes, I will give you my email address. No problem. That'll be perfect. <clears throat> but then take that and make sure that you've got it to track and, and capture within your CRM. So it goes back to the tools in your tool belt. What do you have available to you? Is your GA4 set up correctly? Do you have heart jar, hot jar set up or something sim- similar to that that will track what you have and where people are going on your website? Because I would want to know that. Do you understand the metrics on Shopify that you can look in the back end and you can see where things are coming from? If it's coming in from Pinterest and you're getting more traction from that, which I would see right now, um, in especially for the e-com industry, versus uh, you know versus your Facebook ads because it's going to be more expensive for you to run them. Make sure you're you're diversifying what you're using in your marketing because if it were your stock options, you wouldn't just pick one company and hedge your bets on it. That is a bad decision across the board. <laughs> 